Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Trance Creation. I am back again and I have my phone on charge. That's why you see that little lead there. And I'm trying to make room so I can finish. Now I'm having a cup of tea. Um, all right, this is a garden journal. And it is, again, huge. Um, it's a good, usable, sturdy journal that you can actually use. So um, I've recycled some book covers. Uh, there is lots of coffee dyed papers in there and some dangles. And you're not going to believe what these are made from. I'm going to zoom in now because I'm going to do a separate video of these. And on the back, I've put some coffee dyed paper so whoever purchased this journal can write on um, what that particular signature is about. There's two signatures, each containing 21 pages. The signatures are all joined by a, by a three-stitch pamphlet stitch. And the um, they've all been inserted, the Midori style. So you can add or take out... What you need so you can take a um, signature out and journal in it when you need to and pop it back in you can add stuff to it if you need to so yes yeah, so they're all reinforced with um, eyelets okay and it's a chunky monkey so here we go this um, um, journal I've actually painted believe it or not um, with Dulux paint outdoor paint because I didn't have any and um, and then what I did was I did some stamping on it as well um, I then I do believe I think I might have put a slight no I use permanent um, ink stamps that's right and I just used um, a stencil and this was a dictionary so you can see there's a bit of like a violin and you can see some things on it but it's pretty cool and I've um, reinforced the spine with this really cool cloth that I had left and on the back I've kept it plain I didn't do any stenciling um, yes yeah, so you're not going to believe what these are made from because they are covered okay I'll just zoom out and I'll give you a quick sneak peek. Okay, that's it. So the video will come up in regard to that. So here I've put a book plate on it and because I didn't have any brads, I used little buttons and I stitched them on. And I'm just going to zoom in because it's better. Okay, and you can take that book plate out, out if you like. I've just popped on there my garden. I've used a huge belt buckle, a buckle, and um, it just lends itself to the to the white tie. The tie is attached, okay, and it's easy to come off. And here it'll reveal more of the stenciling and the Dulux paint. <laughs> oh dear, I tell you, it was a little can um, that I've had for ages because I was going to do the floor with it here in my craft room. But it never, I never got around to it. So uh, this has been um, stitched on as well. Okay. Very, very sturdy journal this. All right. Are you ready? Let's venture in. So each signature has, of course, this little um, dangle charm. Okay. I've used a lot of all my own papers. Um, cutouts from um, children's books. Here they are. I think they're. I wasn't sure whether they're catching a butterfly or whether she's got a rake there and he's got a bucket of soil. But anyway, I thought, well, you know. And here I have a very old um, postcard, Paris postcard. I thought, oh, maybe they look nice in that garden. Someone sitting on the bench there just relaxing or a chair. I've left pockets um, empty because, you know, you might want to... <laughs> whoever purchased this might want to fill it up themselves. Each signature has a little um, 
scrapbook paper cardstock it is um, lightweight um, with butterflies okay this is the only one that's loose the others are attached so here's um, a specimen card that was gifted to me a while ago in a swap and I attached it to make it into a pocket and here's a journaling card this was actually um, advertising pamphlet and I made it nice and sturdy with some cardstock so you can journal on it there's no there's no frills and, and and too many frills and stuff in this because it's a garden journal okay cardstock so what I've done is as a tab I'll show you properly I've used a oh, hang on I'll just Instead of me keep lifting this up, I keep forgetting. There. I used a tag, which was a price tag, a large price tag. And then, of course, I attached my, oh, oh, there it is, my little dangle, the butterfly. And then you can write on it what that signature holds, either on, on the um, little tag or, you know, the, the, um, the little dangle. So how cool is that? And they've all got the eyelets in them. Okay. Um, just various lots of papers that I've had in my own stash. Here with some music paper. Here I've had these for so many, so many years I can't remember. I think I printed them out on Pinterest when I started journaling and I finally can use them. Here is just a um, book page pocket and again I used a tag um, where you can journal on to you know, let you know what's on there so lots of lots of writing space and that's what it's about here I've made a um, clear pocket mainly because this is actually um, from um, Angie's oh now I can't I can't remember just bear with me I've got it here written down here somewhere. And just bear with me folks, I'm hunting, I'm hunting. I should have been a bit more organised. Oh yes. Angie's Mountain Girl Skies Studio. That's it and when this came out I think a couple of years ago I really liked it because it's really really grungy so that's what that is and I didn't want to cover it because it looks just so beautiful and this lady makes tiny tiny little houses unbelievable um, now where did I get that from better put that back so I don't want to be hunting around And of course, you know, paper clip just in case you want to use it. And you can actually just clip it onto here if you wanted to. I'll just do that right now. Just there. Okay, various papers. Here we are up to this page. Coffee dyed papers. Here I've actually used, this is actually... Um, yeah, coffee dyed papers and this is just a journaling card I had in my stash more coffee dyed various papers here's a little wallpaper booklet it's made from wallpaper the cover and I've just sewn in just machine sewed in some papers that I have left over from um, when I was making this journal and of course I left that blank and this of course is the remnants of a those um, stamps and I'll just use that to make it into a belly band um, can't remember where that came out of again little belly band with a little tag this is um, photo paper that's why it's glossy and I coffee dyed it you can't really journal on it, but you definitely can journal on the back. This is handmade paper from my friend. 
um, who doesn't live here anymore. She lives um, about three hours away. She makes her own paper and uh, she's given me all her scraps and that's what that is. It feels absolutely beautiful. Here's an old piece of um, ephemera, weeds, weeds, weeds. And um, yes, we do get them in their garden, don't we? Oh my goodness me, I tell you. So it's a little booklet. Weed killer, North Go weed killer. Don't know how old it is, but it looks pretty used. Piece of original ephemera there. Uh, book page. And then I've left some lined paper because you need lined paper to scribble on. Okay, I've made a little tuck just like that. And each signature um, finishes off with this beautiful um, page. I have a book. I think it's about paintings and um, florals. And yeah, they look so pretty. Sometimes the eye just needs to relax. So I thought, well, that's a very relaxing picture. All three signatures have got one of these. And of course, here's the Midori style. So, and there's the pamphlet stitch. So you can take this out when you need to. Okay. And then we've got all the lined pages. Here are my pianola uh, little pockets. And I've left, I've put some scrap paper in, left that blank. Whoever needs to uh, journal in that. Book page. Here's the other side of that photo paper. And this is, um, is that cloth? Yes, that's cloth. And here are some envelopes that I made from the Woolies um, shopping bags because you need to, might want to put some seeds in or the little plant tags or something. This was a spelling book, I think. Lessons, yes. Here is another clear tuck with that beautiful Angie's paper there. And a little paper clip with a little flower. And this is the altered paper clip. Um, pianola paper, dictionary paper, little bit of um, lace, very old button. And music paper. And I clip that around. So that it doesn't come off, okay? And here you've got an envelope that that open. I hope so. I didn't close it. Oh no, I had to cut it because it was glued shut. That's right. So you can journal on that. Whew, glad I looked at that. <clears throat> Forgotten about that. So that just goes in here. Sorry, I'm fumbling around a little bit. There, that one, and then I've made a tuck and a flip. This is the old journaling card I've had for who knows how long. And then I have an envelope, flips out, did a bit of collage there, one of my painted papers. That's wrapping paper that I photocopied, and some more of those <laughs> yummy Woolies bags envelope. Thank you, Mr. Woolworths. <laughs> so that's the end of that signature. And here I've made a pocket. So you've got more envelopes and um, that you can use. But you can either glue up or you can use it to journal on. Okay. Because the glue was coming undone because they're that old. And this one I've made a little pocket, just a bit of scrap paper in here. Here is a window. This was gifted to me as well. That was from the swap. And just a plain journaling card because I didn't want to sort of take away from that lovely butterfly. And because oh, this is the second um, signature, so again, um, a little, little dangle. And this is the wallpaper, part of the wallpaper. And I enclosed it in the plastic bottle. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> and some um, coffee dyed paper so you can put on there what section that is. Just some diary, old diary pages, 2017. Here's one of my altered envelopes. And what I did was I actually um, 
took the um, window part and made into strips and then glued um, this from a, um, a book. That picture looked really cool. And of course in that you've got a an altered little booklet here that you can just da -da, journal on. Okay. And I used lots of scraps. This is the inside of the spine from this book that I took that I took off. And you can still journal on that. Some of Angie's paper. And I use that just to sturdy up. It's actually a band-aid. Here's one of my little um, pockets. It's a little glassine bag, collaged up. And this has got a little pocket here as well, so you can pop something in there. And why haven't I popped anything in there? Let me have a look. Does that fit in there? I'll have to make something to pop in there. Mm. Okay. These are those Disney cards I've been collecting. So, yeah, so... It just pops in there. Owl who wanted to be silly. <laughs> Pocket uh, from an envelope window. And I've just put lots of little scrappy bits of paper in here that I had. Um, yeah, and you can just put notes in that and left that blank. So there's plenty in there. What's that? The same thing. Yep. Look at that coffee stain. Now, watering. <laughs> I've had these watering cans for so long, oh, you wouldn't believe it. So I decided to use them as little t a tag so you can journal on them. When shall I water? And this came out of, um, I think it was Daphne's diary, I think. Ta-da! Okay, so you can journal on that. These are my little pockets I made from the Pianola paper, dictionary paper. So, you know, you might want to say, oh, one, two, three days watering, just to remind you. More spelling paper, and here I've just attached this page, flip page, beautiful bird. Now, I made a boo-boo here, but we all make boo-boos in junk journals, don't we? Um, I was going to... Um, Put an eyelid in here no a brad in here so you can swivel it around but i was gluing something i said oh yeah better i better glue this on so it flips out well you know it's like hello i forgot the brad so now it's attached and i can't get it off so but you can still use it and um, picture from a dictionary and that's a nice big pocket to put something in compliments of woolly's shopping bag Here's some of that writing. So each signature has got this writing paper in the middle of the signature. And look at that picture. Isn't it just gorgeous? You know, why would you want to cover it up? You can journal on the back of them. Okay, some more of that. And that just flips out. Um, library card pocket. Had that for a while, so I thought I might as well put that in there. Here's one of my own seed pockets that I made a long time ago. And then I had these. I think they came out of a magazine, so I've just covered some of it up and so you can journal on it. Here's some original tea cards. They're like a botanical theme. That just pops in there. Woolies bag. Jeez, I love them, those Woolies bag. I'll show a video after to show you what I've done with them. Here I've made some little seed pockets out of a... This was... A cutlery pouch. It's quite sturdy. I had cutlery in that with wrapped up in a napkin. And I've placed that... So I thought, oh, well, I'm going to take them home. <laughs> and I cut that in half, put like a little scrap of little label on, and you can use it. It's 
one of my own stickers from my collection. Just zoom out again. Sorry, guys. What's that? Riding the tortoise turtle. This is these um paper I eco dyed a long time ago, and that's where you get those patterns. Really, really, and they feel really nice. All right, so here I used a bobby pin. No, it's not a used one. It's a brand new one. I bought a whole heap of them from an op shop. This was an envelope and I made it into a flip. And some writing paper. No, that's an envelope, I think. And this is also was a cutlery bag. There you go, you can do your noughts and crosses. And on the back is another pocket. Why haven't I got that on there? What's what have I got here? Oh, okay, here you go fit oh there you go <laughs> so and then you just attach that back onto here i find these bobby pins quite good actually um they were a bronze color and i thought oh yep i can use them some more vengeance papers here's another one of those freebie things that were in a magazine another woolies bag transformed into one of the envelopes and that's the end of that signature. I've made a belly band on this one. So you've got another really huge journaling card. It's the same one that was in the front one. And I just covered it up with um, coffee dyed paper. Here is the other um, specimen card that was uh, in the swap. And here I've put in a little index card. And this is from my... Um, Franken paper page that I made a long time ago. I've just popped a little sticker on there, man on a tractor. And that just pops in here. And then you've got another tag here. And then you've got a little pocket here with some scribbly paper. And of course, wallpaper picture. That's the third signature, and that's a flip. pretty cool isn't it and one of my envelopes that I decoupage with um, cover up with tracing dressmakers paper and then this I cut this out of a magazine I'll just zoom in so you can see it just like that and then I just put that on Angie's paper it just looks awesome and here's another specimen card that was in the swap and then just a um, fancy little floral envelope. You can never have enough envelopes when you have a garden journal. Trust me, I know. Here's a big pocket envelope and I've popped in some more envelopes. These are little um, cutlery bags. And um, they are... Now, I, oh, I think I dyed these a long time ago. I can't remember, but they just go in this little book page pocket here. That's it. No, it's not. End up bending it. There you go. This was gifted to me too, this little pocket. And then you've got something to put behind here as well. See? If you wish. Had this. Oops had this for such a long time if you watch my last video um diamonds in the sky about the chandelier well that was with it <laughs> never used it well i've used it now it's on pretty heavy um cardstock and i've made these little dictionary seed packets and that just tucks under here middle of the signature and voila another beautiful picture isn't that gorgeous Really, 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 really soothing to the eye, I tell you. Okay, and here, 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 here. Okay, here I've made a pocket. 
There's some more seed envelopes, seed packets envelopes. That way, Krista. Yep, nothing in them. I'll leave it up to the person that's going to use them. And these are transparencies. And I just sewed them because this pocket was so narrow. Um, well, it's actually only a tuck. I wanted to make sure it didn't fall out. So I've sewn these on. They're like a florally thing on it. It was an experiment that I did a couple of years ago. And I'm just using that so it keeps it in place. Just something different, you know. I'll zoom back out. Here I've made, um, this came off a box of something. It's a really hard, solid packaging, I think it was. And this is a pretty cool little journaling card. So, I, so not to hide it, I've just popped that in there. Out of a magazine you can journal on that and here I've popped in a CD um, envelope and I just put um, some pictures on there this is actually wrapping paper okay and I cut the bird out and just popped it on there and of course here's another piece of that lovely handmade paper and a journaling card that one you open that up and that's a flip and you've got another journaling card in there okay and you've got a little pocket up there as well and this card keeps it all closed just like that and you can journal on the back so that's the end of that third signature and again another pocket on the back you've got another pocket some more of those tags that I've had for so many years I'm so glad I can use them and here's a piece of very old um, ephemera this came out of I think out of a little diary those really tiny diaries that you can oh, what happened here okay December night very 16 so very very old I bought that from the um, pack that I purchased with all the old bits and bobs in it so there you go so this is a chunky monkey this this I don't think I gave you the measurements for the last journal that I diamonds in the sky but I have all that in my Etsy store um, this one measures nine inches which is 23 centimeters by six which is 15 and a half and the spine is quite wide nearly three inches six and a half centimeters okay oh and also I forgot to mention it comes with a pen I've got a bit of elastic on here you can pop a pen in that so you've always are on the ready to jot down some notes all right so let me know of your thoughts um this will be um unless it's sold prior but it will be in my etsy store after the 20th because i will be taking this to the markets as well unless you want to purchase it just let me know and it just ties up really nice and what i do is i just um you know flick it back on itself on the back here tuck it in and it does stand up very sturdy very very sturdy all right then that's it i think i've got that one and i think i've got the butterfly journal left to go so i hope you enjoyed the walkthrough let me know if you thought of this chunky monkey and i'll see you in the next video bye for now